if I was a trencher in the Iron Kingdoms, this thing would terrify me beyond belief. It definitely has kind of like an insect-like um, industriousness combined with, uh, you know, its, its um, horrific uh, uh, hunger for flesh. You basically have choices where you can be killed by the long-range cannon, or you can be shredded by its close-in cannon, or you could end up being just grabbed and thrown into its furnace. It's definitely a little bit more murderous, a little bit angrier than, uh, than our, other, uh, our other colossals. It is a perpetual motion machine of death. Right after the Orgoth were, were kicked out and, and also after the, the Colossal Wars that were between the Kador and Signar with the old Colossals, Crix kind of went to the mainland and grabbed scientists and inventors to learn about these great machines that mankind had made and kind of made their own sort of smaller version of, of those with the Kraken. The other armies uh, have been creating ever larger uh, war machines, so now is the time where Crix uh, needs to unleash its its largest and most powerful weapons. I don't know about you, I would rather die at range than suffer the indignity of screaming my last words as I'm being poured into a necrotite furnace. It's a terrible way to go. With the Kraken, it was really clear right from the start that the design was definitely very similar to Leviathan, to the Harrower. And with the name like the Kraken, we knew we immediately wanted to have a similar type of uh, construct that would be utilized to, uh, by Crix in kind of a similar way, but on a, on a larger scale. One of the first noticeable things about the Kraken is really its weird shape. We, uh, we started looking at, at animals like ticks, and fleas. The idea here was to make something that was just a sort of alien bloated death machine. I always enjoy when the rules and the concept come together in something that feels really right for the faction and the, the meat-fueled uh, quality with the Kraken uh, qualifies. Meat-fueled is an idea that the Kraken doesn't just run on necrotype. It runs on the souls and the bodies of victims that it collects as it storms across the battlefield. It's little harvester tentacles. They can grab a person, they can grab a, a, a living uh, soldier, put them inside itself, and it has this little like torture chamber inside itself where either it can keep the person alive or it can use them sort of as fuel to empower itself. It kind of um, you know, does horrible things to the person inside and, and eventually kills them and in the process is kind of making use of the, the, the death of that person or its agonies to, to power itself up. So it's a great way in which I think the rules encourage a, you know, horror movie play style. One of the biggest challenges designing the Kraken or any of the Colossals was to make sure that they had the appropriate level of detail that these things were not just these big clunky toys with big bare areas of resin that just look like had they been put together for a child. Maintaining those design elements from cricks, the large rib structures, the chest cavities. We want it to look like you can cut yourself at any moment. These things are definitely you know, designed so that they look like they chew children up. They aren't made for their safety, right? I'm always amazed uh, when I get to finally see the model both uh, just completed and, and, you know, in three dimensions. It's always great to see the model, but then especially when they're painted up, it's just, you know, all the little details come to life. The first time that I saw the actual finished physical model of the Kraken, I was just stunned. Uh, the sculptor that created it, Ben Meisner, just put on an achingly beautiful amount of detail and he totally captured what I think we were going for in the initial concepts. The Kraken, I think it really embodies everything that makes Crix fun and it's a perfect combination of a great sculpt, fun rules, and a look that, that really suits the faction and that's what we want to achieve I think with all the Colossals.